Welcome back to another weekly market forecast guys with me Tremaine and we are back again for another week of preparation guys and for today's weekly market forecast we're going to be looking at a couple of pairs. So we're going to be going through the DXY, Aussie CAD, Aussie Swiss Franc, Aussie JPY, Swiss Yen, New Zealand Dollar JPY and as well as USD ZA. Now for this next week guys things are looking very bullish on a lot of the pairs that I'm going to have a look at so obviously with this portfolio we're going to need to obviously manage risk across our portfolio so managing risk means that we are not going to be over risking on correlated pairs now guys we're gonna get straight into this week's weekly market forecast let's get into the dxy Jumping straight onto the daily guys, we're on the DXY and having a look at the price action here, what we will highlight about this price action is this nice impulsive move to the downside. So we have some support, we have a lower high, we have a new lower low, lower high and a lower low. So we basically concluding from this piece of price action moving to the downside that we have previous support structures over here that obviously prices broke below these previous support structures and have not retested those supports. Looking at where price action is right now, we are currently retesting this previous support as resistance. So looking at just the most recent price action, we're obviously going to take into account once again, how is price action approaching our area of value? So looking at things guys, we still have this nice exp expanding structure over here. So obviously we see price action then correcting ascendingly. So what we have is this nice beautiful three touch structure for so first touch there, second touch there and we can see that price action has broken above our structure at the third touch for basically this ascending structure right here. Now what we're going to be waiting for on the DXY guys is because we've noticed this expanding structure, we have it, a target for this expanding structure. We're expecting prices to want to come back to the support of this larger expanding structure. Now, because we have those targets and we can clearly see that price has broken above our structure, what we need to wait for on these smaller time frames, like the four hour is we need to wait for price action to break back into structure. Now to look at the most recent piece of price action, what we have here is this nice beautiful ascending structure. So we see market being in this beautiful uptrend. So what we need to wait for is for prices to break back into our structure. Once we've broken back into our structure, we then wait for price action to now retest our levels of structure. And once you've seen that nice beautiful retest of that level of structure, guys, we are looking for our sell biased setups. So going into just basically over what we are looking for, Next week guys, we're waiting for the DXY to provide for us some sort of a reversal structure in this region over here. We will be understanding that any sell setup outside of our structure will be considered a risk entry. Once price action breaks back into structure and gives us that confirmation, we then understand that we are in reduced risk entry territory. Getting into Aussie CAD guys, we're on the 4 hour and what we can notice about this price action is still this similar range. So we have conclusion that price action came in from the top, obviously gave us some resistance in this area, came to the bottom, given us some support. Now what we have in conclusion is just basically this nice beautiful ranging structure with our resistance being up top and our support being down low. Now we're gonna take a look at the price action here. So with us concluding that price action is in some sort of a range, we treat this market exactly like what it is, exactly like what we see. Now that we know that we've concluded a ranging market, we understand that we have our buying probabilities from the low of this range. If we extend back, we will be able to see that this range is a nice, beautiful, important support structure over here or previous resistance in this case over here that prices broke above and obviously we are basically seeing that nice big retest from a higher time frame. So we have additionally that we are at the low of this range. What we do see about the nature of price action here on a 4 hour is that we have this beautiful descending market. So we have price action pushing to the upside from these support regions over here and then we obviously see this market entering some sort of a corrective structure to the downside. Now we do understand from our theory that these corrective structures normally break to the upside. Now that's exactly what we're looking for because we're at support because we have that higher time frame support in our favor what we will be paying attention to is these lower structures over here expecting that prices can come down give us that third touch tap into our zone of structure and then obviously we look for our entries once we've seen price action giving us momentum away from our area 
of value. So guys, over the course of next week, we're going to be bullish buys on Aussie CAD, looking for that impulsive momentum to the upside, and then we're jumping on, on those continuation structures. <laughs> on the four hour and what we can see about this price action is some nice momentum to the upside we then find this market giving us a corrective structure some continuation and now we have price action coming back to where to our high higher time frame key support regions now we obviously do see that we have the potential to create some sort of an inverse head and shoulders for that momentum to the downside now what we do see about this price action if we just come in closely here on the four hour is we will notice something about momentum what we do see is price action coming to these support regions guys giving us a nice momentum shift away from that area and after we've seen this momentum pushing away from our key support structures there we've seen price action correcting down so clearly price action has been taking a lot longer to make its move down than it did to the upside so we have concluded that our momentum is to the upside and that we can leading away from these this corrective structure find that momentum to the upside so that's exactly what we're going to be doing guys on Aussie Swiss franc over the course of next week we've isolated a beautiful corrective structure over here with our nice two touches so what we will be paying attention to we have our first touch here we have our second touch there so prices can come down and give us a beautiful third touch of structure and obviously our termination in this area before we move to the upside so what we will be paying attention to guys is our support structures regardless of whether prices break below the support structure that we see with this horizontal ray we will be waiting for price action to break back above and then once again retest our level of structure for our upside continuation and if we do find a nice awesome risk to reward ratio of one is to three before we hit these 90 or this 90 percent of the structure that will be an absolutely beautiful trade Jumping into New Zealand dollar JPY on the four hour guys, what we will notice about this structure is a beautiful sort of an uptrend. So we understand that we were bearish bias from our higher time frame analysis, but right now guys, nature of price action is warranting us to look for trades in a different direction. So what we can see about this price action is that we have prices coming in from the support giving us a beautiful resistance area, higher lows, and we see prices breaking above this resistance area. What is price doing right now? We've entered some sort of a corrective structure, coming back to a region of previous resistance that can function as support for our continuation to the upside. Now, obviously, you guys can see this beautiful nature's theory of our normal uh, textbook entries our basic impulse and then followed by our corrective structure and then obviously we expect that next impulse of momentum to follow through on this structure so that's exactly what we're going to be looking for here guys on aussie jpy we have this beautiful corrective structure including our nice first touch our nice second touch and obviously we understand that prices can terminate in this third touch region now since prices have already touched our region over there what we will be expecting and what we can be also waiting for is for price action to want to pull deeper into the support structure over there and actually retest that resistance and once we get this price action pulling deeper we will obviously wait for price action to break back above a point of interest come back to retest the point of interest and then we look for our bullish momentum to the upside targeting guys hopefully targeting first of all these support regions over here and if price action or if we can't manage to fit a one to three risk to reward ratio by targeting those support structures there then we obviously will be able to target the 90 percent rule of the structure so bullish bias guys over the course of next week for AUD JPY. We're on Swiss Yen guys, we are here on the 4 hour and looking at price action here, what we can observe is this nice key resistance area from a higher time frame that we basically see prices breaking above and not quite retesting. What we have right now is price action retesting this previous resistance as potential support for that continuation to the upside. Now we just need to delete this because it's not so relevant to us because what we've done is we've refined that resistance to this key area over here. In our impulsive move to the upside, we understand that market has found some sort of resistance and support in this area before continuing to the upside. And so if prices want to pull deeply into our support, our 
our support structure this is an area where we could look for that rejection for our momentum to the upside now what we can see about this structure guys is that we've had our descending structure that has given us a first touch in this area second touch in this area over here and we can obviously expect prices to come terminate with our third touch at our support region over here for our bullish bias momentum so what we're going to be doing guys over the course of next week on swiss yen is we're going to be waiting for price action to pull down lower give us a tap into this area here break back above our structure once we see prices retesting then we know that we're good for that reduced risk entry and then obviously we look to target our 90 percent rule of this structure so bullish buys guys on swiss yen over the course of next week we hope to see price action coming down a bit lower because we have already seen some reactions from this area over here so hopefully we don't find momentum and pushing to the upside and giving us a smaller RR by the waiting or rather by allowing us to capture these reduced risk entries outside of our structure. We kind of want to jump in as low as possible. So hopefully price action does give us that opportunity over the course of next week on Susian for that bullish biased price action. Getting into New Zealand dollar JPY guys, we're on the 4 hour and what we can see about price action is that it sort of similarly resembles our AUD JPY setup and as well as our Swiss Yen setup. Now what we have different about the setup is that we are not close to or we haven't really come close to this previous resistance that price has broken above and not quite retested as yet. But what we are doing is we are still trading the nature of the price action and still isolating structures to be able to find that next bullish momentum. So if we pull into our most recent price action here on our four hour, what we will see is this beautiful impulse correction, impulse nature that we've been seeing on these JPY code pairs. Seeing our momentum on our left hand side, price entering some sort of a corrective structure and we obviously expect to see the momentum following through on this structure to the upside. Now what we have here is obviously Obviously a multi chart structure we've seen our first touch we've seen our beautiful second touch and prices are in our third touch region now because we're correcting around this support region over here you can see that prices on a lower time frame have broken below broken back above this key area what we're going to be waiting for is for price action to give us a smaller structure in this area here and obviously once we find a nice beautiful corrective structure or descending structure or reversal structure or any bullish biased structure that will allow us to find a point of interest to enter this market and obviously be able to manage risk by finding a nice stop loss area once we find a structure that obviously gives us that entry criteria we will be looking for our bullish bias setups because price action is at the third touch region of our support trend line we're looking to target as usual the 90 percent rule of this structure so bullish bias guys over the course of of next week guys for nzd jpy Jumping into the last pair that we're going to have a look at for this week's weekly market forecast, USDs are guys, we are on the daily. And one thing we can see about price action is that we are following through on last week's analysis perfectly. Now what we expected from last week guys was we expected to see price action correcting around this area. We understood that because we've seen some corrective price action breaking above these key resistance areas and back below, price action was giving us some corrective nature. Now what we have here is a beautiful ascending structure, first touch there, second touch there. We can see that prices have broken and closed above our structure at our third touch region. Now what we will be doing when we're on our 4 hour is we will be identifying nature of price action that will still allow us to be able to capitalize on any bearish momentum. So what we have done is we have observed a beautiful ascending structure in this area over here. Now we understand that above our support trend line is a buyer's market. So what we will be waiting for on USDs are guys is for price action. We've seen our support structures. We've seen our key resistance areas over in this area. We've seen prices giving us beautiful support. What we will wait for is for price action to break back into structure back below our previous resistance areas and once we see price action giving us a beautiful ascending structure that confirms our bearish momentum that is when we will begin to look for our sell biased setups so simply enough we're waiting for price action to break back into our ascending structure and once we've broken back into our ascending structure we can then start to look for setups that allow us to trade this ascending structure that we've broken back into obviously price action is showing us that we are or could potentially be respecting 
this ascending structure. So what we will be looking to target is obviously the 90% rule of our structure on USD ZAR. This might be a beautiful swell sell setup, a beautiful sell swing, and we're going to need to be on our on the tips of our toes, guys, watching price action first of all for that key signal of price breaking back into our structure and then once we've seen prices breaking back into our structure then usd zar goes basically to the top of our watch list and we start to prioritize price action on this pair now guys we have reached the end of this weekly market forecast hopefully you guys have enjoyed the session hopefully you guys have left with some value if you have enjoyed the session guys definitely do drop this video a like and let me know that i am sharing some value with you guys otherwise if it's your first time on the channel and you've come this far definitely do subscribe because it has shown that you've received something thanks so much guys for watching until the end of the video this is tremaine your fx chasers mentor i will see you guys in the future ones have a great week guys cheers Thank you.